Let's take a new file. We are going to create zigzag puzzle game, which will be in two parts. There's going to be first part. Let us change this stage size to 1024 by 768. And we just need to change the color of the stage. And let us save the file. And we just need to save this as in part one. Hit save to save the file. Now, I have already designed the screens using Illustrator application. We just need to get the assets from Illustrator just by copying them. We can copy there and we can come back to that Illustrator, oh sorry, Flash, and we can paste it here directly. Let us unlock the layers here in Illustrator. Let's choose the background and let us copy from Illustrator. We'll go back to the Flash and we just uh, paste it here. Let us paste it. Now we can see the image here on the stage. Okay, we just need to uh, smooth smoothen this image. Let us go back to that library, open that assets folder, and choose the image and right click properties. And we just need to choose that compression as lossless and click OK. Now we see a clear picture without any pixelation, and we can see that very smooth display select the image right click on the image and say convert to symbol select the uh, type as movie clip and name it as in screen one and click ok we're going to have three different scenes so screen one is welcome screen screen two is game screen three is result and we just need to change the layer name and let's create another layer let us go back to that illustrator to import other stuff. We just need to choose the title stuff uh, from the illustrator and let us copy it and go back to that flash. We just need to paste it here. Let's go to that edit and paste. All the stuff will be pasted there. Let's click OK. Now we can see the pasted content there. We just need to adjust it to place it proper. Right, let us save the file now. We just need to change the uh, layer title as in title. Now it is better to create another layer for next stuff. Let's go back to the illustrator to copy that other stuff. Let us choose only the text part and we can come back to that flash and just paste it here. And we need to just adjust the position of the title here. Let's create a new layer to take that other stuff of the illustrator. And choose the basic graphics. Come back to flash and paste it here. We just need to adjust this. Let's lock this layer and create a new layer to import that another button. Go back to that illustrator. Choose that B along with the question mark. And let's say copy. Go back to that flash, paste it in the new layer. We just need to adjust this on our screen. Let's convert this into a symbol. And let us name 
and choose the type as button click ok and we just need to choose the start button also start graphics and convert to that into a symbol type must be a button and name it click ok so we have both the buttons ready on the stage one is for help another uh, button to start the game we just need to test it we can see that uh, hand symbol and the buttons buttons are active let us choose the first keyframe and we just need to apply the label to that keyframe so that it is easy for us to communicate with the timeline and I have chosen the first keyframe of the second layer and I have just applied that label from property panel let us go to the other layer and choose that next keyframe next frame to insert that blank keyframe and let's apply another label to it and we just need to extend the duration and we are supposed to create another uh, blank keyframe in the same place in the different layer which is going to be second screen and insert blank keyframe now we just need to copy the graphics from illustrator again for the second screen Now we need to go back to that first frame and select the symbol from uh, library and we need to uh, right click on it to create a new clause as an object class. Select export for action script and click on edit symbol to create a class and we could see that object class here we just need to save with the same name screen 1. Click yes to save it. And we just need to stop timeline and the first frame. Since we have a 30 uh, uh, more than 30 frames on the main timeline, that it is supposed to stop at first frame. So we just need to apply that stop using this get child it method and save it, test it. We could see that it is not playing; it is stopping. Uh, it is stopped at first frame itself. Now, let's go back to the stage, select the second keyframe and we just need to import that second screen graphics from the illustrator. Let us go back to that illustrator, select the background, copy and come back to the flash and just paste it in uh, second keyframe. It will be pasted as a new layer and select the image convert into a symbol and change the compression settings now we just need to place the image in the second layer from the new layer go to edit cut and select the keyframe and paste it and let us remove the empty layer from the timeline now we could see that first frame is having the first screen content uh, second keyframe is having the second screen content let us save the file and let's go back to that first frame and we just need to find out that button names we just need to apply the button names so that we can use the buttons to to interact with the screens so start button and help button let's go back to that object class we just need to take events class import flash events and mouse event we just need to add that events to that button start btn add event listener 
we just need to take that mouse event doesn't click and we need to define that the function name to this event start game now we need to define the private function out of this public function function name must be that start game private function and the function name is start game So inside this function that we are supposed to use, go to and play, go to and stop, and second label. Let us use that same method, movie clip of stage start, get child at zero, dot, go to and stop. And let us type the label name. Which is supposed to be game screen. Let's save the file and just test it now. When we click on the start button that it is supposed to jump onto the second screen. Hope you see that successfully it is moving onto the next screen. Let's go back to the main stage. And we are inside that screen one symbol. We just need to create another layer to create that help screen. Let us choose that help screen from Illustrator. Let's copy it. Let us go back to that flash and paste it in your layer. Click OK. Now we see the graphics which we copied from uh, Illustrator. We just need to select them and convert into a symbol. We just need to uh, name the symbol and just convert this symbol as Move it Clip. Click OK. Now get inside this symbol again. Okay? We just need to uh, choose that cross mark to convert this into a symbol as button. And let's name it as close billion. Click OK. And let's apply that instance name as close billion. Let's create another layer. We just need to copy paste uh, the, the instructions from the other file which are already defined there. We just need to choose the static text object and we just need to uh, set the settings of the text and we just need to paste that complete text inside this symbol. The instructions which are going to help the user to play the game. We just need to adjust the text here. Alignment, font. Let's save the file. Now we just need to apply the instance name to the symbol also. Instruction symbol. And we need to go back to the object class. And we are supposed to apply that another event listener to that uh, L button. Let us add event listener. And the event must be mouse event. Now we just added a button mode property to that uh, question mark button. So that we could see hand symbol there. Let's check the button name and let's uh, save it and go back to that object class. And now we need to apply 
another event to this help btl let us add event listener to it an event must be click and let's apply that event uh, function name help message and we just need to define this function as a private function let us say that private function and we just need to make it visible help mc when we click on that help button save the file and test it now when we click on the question mark symbol that we could see help mc and we just need to write another event for close button which is inside that help mc let us say that help mc dot close ptl and we need to add same mouse event and we just need to define that function name as close help we need to define that one private function for this private function and let's define that function name as in close help and we just need to hide the symbol which is help mc help mc that visible is equals to false let us save the file and we just need to go back to the control menu and test it we just need to click on a question mark symbol to test that uh, help mc now it is visible and we will be able to close just by clicking on close button we just need to add button mode to the close button the close button which is inside that uh, help symbol let's say the help mc dot close btn dot button mode equal to true so that we can see hand symbol when we place the cursor on the close button let us test it now when we place the cursor on the close button we could see that hand symbol now let's close it and click on the start button to move on to that second screen we could see that very clear thank you for watching and have a great day